Does identity exist? Is it overrated? That's why. Does it exist ah, and does it matter? Does it matter? Yeah. Not so much. And not so much? No. I couldn't point out what what my identity is or something. You carry with yourself where you're coming from and it's if this answers the question and it gives you certain background so you react on things in life where you are through what you experience. So this gives you a imprint, let's say, to who you are. If I'd stayed in Bolivia for, for five years then I would have been the same now as any Bolivian. I mean it's just what you adjust to, I think. Well, when I was smaller, I was when I was living in France, I was always putting on like this American identity. And when I'm in America, I was with my best friend who's French, and we never spoke uh, French in France. But in America, we were speaking French to each other out of nowhere. And I mean, somehow you always kind of want to create this this difference. When you come to a, a new place, you try to be more this place, or sometimes you try to preserve more what. what there are things that uh, this is where you are from and this is how it happens there and that's maybe the food that you like and uh, you know all these kind of things basically without you want you are belonging to a lot of things yeah. I mean I would say that collective identity women uh, Sweden uh, Europe uh, probably squatter etc uh, etc et there's a lot of them that I can apply on myself let's say if about the, the countries and everything let's say that every country is an ingredient let's say meat, uh, pasta and um, onions, then Rietveld is a pasta bolognese. It's a mixture of all that, so you feel safe. <laughs> um, so I was thinking about safety, how identity is giving you safety, maybe. like that you are captured with something. But then contem contemporary world is, is just about questioning your mm -hmm. identity, so you are like losing your bubbles. like stepping forward and losing this safety identity bubble constantly like every step is just like capturing it oh yeah I am no I'm not so it's something for me like that always as long as I try to analyze what's going on in the world as from me like this little island it becomes so loose, and you, it's like David said, you, you sit there and you're like, yeah, my opinion is just one in a sea of opinions, and who gives a shit? Yeah. No one gives a shit. Yeah. And the thing is that the, the things outside of me are so much bigger than me, that I th and in this way, I mean, it's a tool. It's a tool. You use a collective identity or structures to analyze what's going on, and by using a group or temporarily identifying with a group, it's this, this craving for identity that I want to be something, like somebody, to, to be in a group, to connect. But on every step, it's just creating new networks and new, like, like just, just from this questioning of it comes the, the lack of safe ground. Where I come from, I come from Uganda. I mean, there's no fuss about identity. Things are the way they are, but... Like when you come here, then it's like a big deal. Like, I don't get it. <laughs> I really don't mm -hmm. because it's like you live your life. That's it. No one is like, oh, you're like this and you're like that. Oh, and you're from Uganda. And then I come here and everyone's like, you're from Uganda. I'm like, yes. There's no big deal. I don't know. I don't get it. But, but do you ask yourself? Do you ask yourself sometimes, who am I? No, I know who I am. How do you know that? Because I know. How? Because I'm me. Did people tell you that, or is that like a yeah, non-question for you? I, I mean, I don't, I don't really think it's really that important. I mean, identity is kind of made up, and like as time goes on, it evolves and maybe also disappears. So it's like, for me, it's not a big deal. It's very interesting. Yeah, because mm -hmm. I've traveled a lot, and I, 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 I almost do not know who I am anymore because like, I'm black but not black. It's like. It's like just uh, African, but not is, African. Everything is just blended together. So for me, it makes no difference. But how does it? The feeling of that everything blends together. How how, how does it make you feel? Is it okay? I don't know. It's just mixed feelings. Like I've been to England. I've, uh, then I was here. Also, I've been to Kenya. I've been in Uganda. I've been everywhere. So it's like uh, it really doesn't matter anymore because everywhere I go, I pick up something, and then whether you like it or not, you carry it on to wherever you're going, and then it's like just a blend of everything and like it's just the way it is okay 
I just take it like that, identity or not. So. I think it's really naive, I think, to deny like identity because I mean we all have a background, we all have a context, and I mean in society, not only society, but also I mean all our interests and everything that we do is based around our identity to some degree. And of course, we like to say, oh, I mean, it is good to have like this clash of identities and this and this mix. But I don't think it's actually a mix. I think it's more like a clash and bringing together of identities. I don't think it's like homogenizing everything to make everything less. I think it's just you know we just speak up with our identities. I mean, Josephine said that we had more identities to one person, you know, and. And I think it's really true, you know, we all have these ingredients, so we bring them together to make something stronger, and not just to make, you know, like, you know, like uh, mashed potatoes or something, you know, but, mm -hmm. I mean, otherwise, you know, there's nothing interesting or to look forward to, I think. Everything that we're interested in or to get excited about is based around our, our identities. <laughs>